So architecturally, um, looking at Apex, it's very simple. Uh, there's not a lot going on there. And this is one of the things that I know that newer developers tend to struggle with just a little bit. Uh, and it, it makes sense. So in traditional application development, when you're looking at web applications, it's kind of a, a three-tier architecture where you kind of have a browser, uh, you have a middle tier, which is like where your application runs, and then you have your database, which is this separate thing that just, it's a this dumb thing that just holds information. Well, Apex is different. Uh, Apex is written pretty much entirely in PL SQL or PLSQL. And so your middle tier or your logic and all your business processing happens in the database. So um, if you want to add custom logic to your application, you're going to write that in PL SQL. I would say your strongest asset in getting started with Apex is definitely going to be um, your uh, SQL and PL SQL knowledge. Because of course, um, you want to have kind of that strong uh, architectural uh, kind of, uh, you want to make sure that the business logic and, and your system works well. Um, and then you can augment that later with some more HTML and CSS knowledge. But I would say the focus is definitely SQL and PL SQL to get started. And just kind of a, a very brief overview this this uh, web listener so the thing that um, so when you go to your browser and you type in www.apexoracle.com something has to kind of grab that request and then communicate that to the database and so there's going to be some sort of web listener handling that for you and uh, that might be an apache web server it might be a, some, a specific tool called the called ORDS, Oracle RESTful Data Services, uh, or the Apex Listener. If you're using Oracle XE, you might even be using the embedded PL SQL gateway, uh, but that's kind of, that's really going out of favor now because you can just use uh, ORDS. ORDS is a, a no cost a tool for you to use to kind of leverage uh, handling your requests. So uh, all said and done, when you build an application, What's happening is that there are some tables in the database that describe what your application is. And Apex has some PL SQL that's going to read those tables and then produce HTML. Uh, so uh, in conjunction with PL SQL and tables, uh, that is the core foundation of kind of what Apex is. So what that means, uh, what that should mean to you is that you can actually go in and you can query that information so that you're not going to find any real, there's not going to be a file somewhere on a system that you can go look at and say, oh, you know, there's my Apex application. And no, that, that's not that's not quite how it works. You're, there's going to be a query I get that you could write that would say, oh, this is part of my application. So you could select star from Apex applications to kind of see what applications exist. And there's many, many, many objects that exist. Um, and that number goes up with every release. 